Hi there guys, Sam here. Welcome to another video where I'm going to go through some well recent images of the Mark 8 Golf R looking sort of production ready as you can see from the right of me. So yeah, I'll get straight into the video really. So yes, welcome back to another video around the Mark 8 Golf R. And recently um, it's come about that some sort of leaked images have kind of appeared of the Mark 8 Golf R. So I'll go through them, I'll show them on screen and my kind of thoughts on them. So yeah, let's get straight on with this first image to the right of me. So yes, I'll leave a, a link in the um, in the description just to where I've seen these images on Instagram, basically. So yeah, you've got kind of the source from that. But yeah, this is the first image, and um, hopefully it comes okay up okay on screen. It's a little bit of a weird sized image, but you can see from like um, the R badge there, it's got that new sleeker look as opposed to as opposed to the one I've got on my T-shirt, the old R version, R badge version. Um, yeah, it looks quite cool. It looks um, again for me. I think that's an optional exhaust it looks <laughs> it looks like a titanium akaprovich one from where i'm looking from but um yeah quite a cool stance from um the back but yeah i wanted to kind of share that with you and yeah let me know your thoughts on that one the next image is actually a full size of the car so you've got um this one in black with the wheels with the r badge the blue brake brake calipers the r badge at the front it looks really really stealthy um yeah it kind of looks like a normal mark 8 golf to be honest with you um but yeah that's one of the more recent images that's come out of today um not too much extra to kind of say i mean it looks a little bit dull but um yeah interested to know your thoughts on it on this picture you've got a close-up of the wheel design again this is similar from the images that i kind of shared um a few months ago actually but i think back in um july um i'll put a link in the description up above it's the, basically the same wheels um drilled brake discs so again potentially some sort of performance pack the r logo on the blue brake calipers look really nice really nice addition actually to the r to have that kind of little little extra touch to the car um it's always been a little bit bland i guess um diamond cut wheels um looking like the replacement for like the pretorias which were actually yeah it, you'd have the 18 inch cadiz wheels which were on my mark 7 which were diamond cut the Pretoria wheels weren't, for example, but this looks like it's all diamond cut. That's just the way they're going. Um, yeah, similar to like the Audi kind of theme as well on the wheels there. One of the final images, and I'll try to zoom in on this one as well, is the steering wheel of the R. And you've actually got some nice paddles. And that's probably the one thing that frustrated a lot of R owners, I guess. It was um, a little bit plastically and not very big on the paddle shifts at the back of the car, suggesting again, this is obviously an automatic um, DSG car. Yeah, a lot of owners like to modify those paddles as like it's just an easy upgrade really and just to do and um, because the standard fit ones weren't so great. So it's nice that it's bigger. Um, I think that's a bit of an improvement. You get sort of like the blue bad, like blue colouring in the steering wheel as well to kind of add something to it. Loads of buttons, loads of haptic buttons, which I mentioned in previous videos, which is probably a bit too much. You can just about see the virtual cockpit there as well. And um, yeah, the R badge on the steering wheel. So yeah, there we go. Sort of a brief look on some of these leaked images. I kind of wanted to get them and show them on the channel, really, just to keep you up to date with kind of what I've seen. There's been quite a lot of news this week, actually, with sort of the Audi S3 being announced with 306 brake horsepower, 306 PS, um, which is likely to, going to run through to the Mark 8 Golf R. It's going to be like for like. Um, I will do more videos coming up, actually, on this, so please stay tuned. Um, but yeah, just on these images, let me know your thoughts on in the comments below. Certainly looking very production ready, um, but not too dissimilar from images that I've shown in the past as well, which kind of suggest they're kind of finalising it all. Um, one thing I will say, I know I've got a lot of US subscribers on um, my channel, so thank you as well for supporting it, um, the channel. Um, my understanding is it's not going to be in the US, the Mark 8 Golf R, until sort of late 2021, sort of Q3. That's kind of what I've kind of seen, which is a little bit late. Um, I believe in sort of like Europe, you're looking sort of early 2021, basically. Um, so, yeah, it will come, but it will just take a bit of time, basically, for um, US subscribers who are really interested in this Golf R. But yeah, as always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. A nice and quick video of, of this one, of just the images. And um, yeah, stay tuned for plenty more content to come because it's really getting, it's really hotting up now um, to kind of, yeah, find out a lot more information about the Mark 8 Golf R. I think it's, um, yeah, it's such a, yeah, it's, it's built up its name really. I think a, a lot of people are, well, a lot of people on my channel find it very, very um, interesting. I do as well. I love my Mark 7 Golf R. Let's see what happens with this one. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Give this video a like if you've um, found it useful. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers, guys.